Welcome to this new tutorial offered to you by LearnElectronics.org. In this tutorial you will learn how to use the filter design tool of system view. Create a blank project. Give a name to your schematic. Call it Lopus, for example. Delete the default data flow analysis. Add a new folder to the workspace tree and call it Analyses. Save the project and call it Demo Filter. Look for the Implus Waveform model in the Algorithm Design Library. Drag and drop the model symbol in the schematic. Look for the generic filter design model in the library. Drag and drop the model symbol in the schematic. Connect the filter input to the impulse waveform. Look for the IID Gaussian noise in the library. IID stands for Independent and Identically Distributed. This model is used to generate additive white Gaussian noise. Drag and drop the model symbol in the schematic. Look for the data sync in the algorithm design library. Then, drag and drop the model symbol in the schematic. Connect the data sync to the output of the filter. Drag and drop another data sync in this schematic and connect it to the IID model symbol. Short circuit the impulse and IID model symbols. Disable to short the IID noise generator. Add a new data flow analysis to the workspace. Edit the data flow analysis and give the analysis and the data set a name. Then configure source and sync parameters for data collection.
Finally, click Accept to close the data flow analysis window. Click on the impulse model to edit its properties. Set scale by sample rate to yes. Then click OK to close the properties window. Click on the generic filter design model to edit its properties. Set the characteristics of the Lopus response. Finally, click OK to close the properties window. Observe that the filter symbol has now changed. Click on the Lopez filter symbol to open the properties window. Click the filter designer button to open the filter designer. You can now observe the magnitude of the filter response in the frequency domain. Finally, click OK to close the properties window. Add a new filter to the workspace and call it Graphs. Run the analysis by clicking the Play button in the toolbar. Add a new graph to the project. Plot the impulse response, first select time as the type of series, then tick the S1 checkbox to plot the data set of SYNC S1. Finally, click OK to close the graph series wizard window. Edit the graph properties and give the graph a name and a title. Finally, click OK to close the graph properties window. Observe the plot of the Lopez filter impulse response. Add a new graph to the project. This time we want to plot the spectrum of the filter output. Tick the S1 checkbox to plot the dataset of SYNC S1. Then click OK to close the graph series wizard. Hit the graph properties and give the graph a name and a title. Finally, click OK to close the graph properties window. You can observe now the magnitude of the filter frequency response. Select the IID Gaussian noise model that was previously disabled to short and enable it. Then disable to short the impulse waveform. The analysis to observe the noise at the output of the Lopez filter. The analysis has been set with too few samples, so the output spectrum has not a good resolution. Click on the Lopus Analysis in the Workspace tree to edit its properties, then increase the number of samples to 8192. Click Accept to close the Data Flow Analysis window. The Analysis Then observe how the spectrum of the filter output has changed. Now, add a new schematic to the workspace tree. 
we are going to analyze the behavior of a bandpass filter, so call this new schematic bandpass. Repeat exactly all the steps you previously followed to build the test bench for the Lopez filter. So, start drag and dropping in the schematic sheet the same components you used before in the Lopez filter schematic. Start dropping the impulse waveform model, then put in your schematic the generic filter designer, the IID Gaussian noise model, and the data sinks to collect simulation data. Finally, Implement the connections and disable to short the IID Gaussian noise model to study the system behavior with no noise. Don't forget to create and configure a new data flow analysis for the bandpass filter. Give a name to the new analysis and its associated data set. Then configure the source and sync parameters for the new analysis. Finally, click Accept to close the data flow analysis window. Click on the generic filter design model to edit its properties. Remind that this time you have to design a bandpass filter.
you may want to observe the frequency domain magnitude of the filter response. Hence, you have to open the filter designer tool. To do this, click on the filter model. Then, in the filter properties window click the filter designer button to open the filter design tool. Observe now the plot of the magnitude of the filter response. The design tools allows you to display several kinds of graphs, including the phase of the response, the group delay and the root locus. Run the analysis, then follow the same steps as those you previously used for the Lopez filter analysis to plot the impulse and the spectrum of the filter output. Observe that the filter impulse response is not that clear since the analysis has been configured with too many samples. Go back to the workspace tree to edit the analysis properties and reduce the number of samples to 256. Run the analysis once again to generate the updated dataset and plot the new graph. This is how the bandpass filter impulse response looks like with the new simulation settings. Now, go back to the workspace tree and edit the analysis once again to increase the number of samples to 8192. You need many samples to plot a spectrum with sufficient accuracy. Enable the IID Gaussian noise model. Then disable to short the impulse waveform. Finally, run the analysis to generate the new data set. Add a new graph to the workspace tree to plot the spectrum of the filter output. Edit the graph properties and assign a name and a title to the graph. Finally, observe the plot of the noise spectrum shaped by the filter response. Now, Enable the impulse waveform and disable to short the IID Gaussian noise model. And observe the spectrum of the filter impulse response. Thank you for watching. Bookmark www.learnelectronics.org in your browser and check the website periodically for new free material. Don't forget to follow Learn Electronics and the social networks. Please support Learn Electronics with a donation, a Facebook like, a plus one on Google+, or a tweet to your friend.